<laughs> All right, I don't know what number of vlog this is. I think it's I think it's five. I could be wrong. It's five or six. I don't know. I haven't checked. I should probably do that. Um, so what's happening in my life? Well, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm changing my bangs again. I do this like all the time just because I, I can. And I'm wearing, can you see him? Michael Jackson on my chest. That's the best thing in the world. Mm, I don't know. Um, there's not like a lot to say, oh, well, mom's been in, been in the, been not feeling good. Not feeling good. It turns out that she has benign positional vertigo and she's to go to like therapy for it because she's got like weird stuff in her ear and she's all about unbalanced and like woo <sighs> but that's good I'm glad it wasn't serious and God took care of her she'll be okay well I'm still writing a zombie epic if any of you guys want to know or read it or be in it let me know because it's all I do oh and I'm like going to the hospital next week to get an endoscopy. If you don't know what that is, it's when they take a camera that is in the form of a tube and they put it up your butt and down your throat. Well, I'm getting down your throat too. I don't know which one's specifically endoscopy, but that's just what they said, so I'm like, I'll go with it. So I get to, that to happen to me. It'll be great. I'm, like, really scared because, like, I really have a problem with anesthesia, like, like, a fear of anesthesia, I guess, like, because the last time that I went under was when I had surgery, and all I remember, if you guys have ever had surgery or gone, gone under, like, maybe, maybe you'll get what I'm saying, is, like, it just, it feels like dying, but you're not dying, like, you lose your consciousness, and, like, everything echoes and stuff, and, like, you just slowly slip away in the blackness. That's the worst part for me. I mean, I'm I, I'm okay recovering afterwards, but a lot of like my my psychiatrist for the longest time thought that the experience I had with anesthesia was not good and like didn't. It definitely helped contribute. She said to like all the problems that I've got. And I'm like, oh okay, because it was just really really scary for me, and I'm really really scared to do that again. So if you guys have ever had any of that happen. Tell me so I can be prepared. I mean, I love Phoenix Children's Hospital, like, a lot. I used to hate it. Isn't that insane? Like, because that's where I had surgery. I used to be like, that's the place where I died. Because I think of my surgery as, as a very prominent marker in between who I used to be and who I am now. You know, I definitely don't think I'm the same person that I was before I had surgery at all. That person died. And when I woke up from surgery, I was a completely different person. And... Which is good and bad because, you know, you lose a lot, but there's also room to get better. And I think that's what happened after I had surgery is that I kind of got put, I started realizing that I have to put things into perspective. And it just, it really helped me eliminate a lot of things from my life that I know now didn't need to be there. And it helped me, um just kind of fall in love more with God, because obviously you're dependent on him, you know, because you're like, I can't make it through this day without you, and it's still like that, you know, I, I can say honestly that after, after I got sick, and after I tried to take my life, you know, he's the only reason that I'm still here, you know, he hasn't, he won't let go of me, no matter how bad I want to let go, he's like, nope, that's not what I have planned for you, Slash, so that's not gonna happen, so, it's just, it's really good, I think, that that happened. I mean, it hurt, but, you know, change isn't easy, and it hurts, and you have to kind of break, I guess, and you have to empty out in order to be a vessel for God. You have to empty out of all that bad stuff in you, or all that stuff that just doesn't need to be there. And I can, I can think, like, of very, very specific situations in my life and circumstances that, that were eliminated right after I had surgery, because it kind of just falls into perspective, and, and... It's just, it's really good. It, it was a good experience. I mean, it was also a very scary experience because, again, you lose, I lost a lot. I lost, you know, a, a whole family, like, 
that we're not whole anymore, that's gone. And um, definitely a lot of health and a lot of time. Um, but I'm still here, you know. Regardless of my feelings on that, I know I'm here because there's something that I need to do. And I know what it is. I'm never going to forget it. Um, and until I do that, you know, it's going to be like irony. Like, as soon as I finish doing that, I'm going to slip on a banana peel and like die. That would suck. That'd be like a bad way to die. An embarrassing way to die. <laughs> Unless you know anybody who's been killed that way. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean to offend you. But, yeah, yeah, today's Saturday, my stomach's been all jacked up, because I just don't think sometimes, like, I ate a cheeseburger and I'm lactose intolerant, I, like, I, I don't, like, it doesn't register to, with me completely yet that I can't eat this without getting sick, and it was, like, it was just awful, man, it was awful, but I got to, on Thursday I went with Mary at mom's house, not mom's house but mom's house, one word with the jaguar in it, and we got to count, well, I counted nickels, and she counted pennies, and it's because for the register, like, they, they collect all the change, and then count it, and, what was I gonna say, I make weird phases, I apologize, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stop, oh, and we were going through them, and, like, there's so much random stuff that people put in there, like, there's, like, money from Singapore and Canadian money and, like, a bunch of... There's this old, like, it's, like, Peter, Peter Piper Pizza. and But it's, like, the Mexican one. It's called Pepe's Pizza. I guess it's Pepe's Pizza, but I call it Pepe's Pizza. I don't know. Um, and it's gone now, but it used to be, like, all the rage back in the 90s and early 2000s. Um, but, so... So there's these, like, big, fat silver coins that say no cash value on them. And, like, Peppy Speed's on the other side. And, like, I thought it was a nickel. I was like, what? And I, was, and I held it up, and I was like, are you kidding? And we found, like, a pile of those. And me and Mary were just laughing our buns off because, like, so many people were paying with those. And it was, it was ridiculous. And somebody didn't even, it was, like, a little, like, screw thing that someone paid with, too. The flat things. Ugh. It was, it was just hilarious, because you look at it, and you're like, it says no cash value, and I was like, Mary, we should tape this to the window and write a sign. You can't pay with these, especially since it doesn't exist anymore. It's, like, useless. If it still existed, then it's like, yeah, bring it in, but... <sighs> oh, people. I mean, that's the great thing when you work with other people, like, in the shop like that, and you see all these different people come in and out, and it's fun. It's really cool. But it just makes me laugh because my grandpa works in that shop from where the register was. And I, I can totally see him because my, my grandpa speaks primarily Spanish. I mean, he understands English, but he can't, like, it takes him a while to process it, to, to process speaking it. And he, I can totally just see him there, like, holding up the coin, being being like, you can't use this. But he, just, he can't say it. Oops, he can't say it in time. So, oh, he's hilarious. I love him. His hair is, like, he has all his hair, and it's, like, golden. So, hopefully, I'll have all my hair when I get old, and it will be gold. <laughs> and then this faded. I have to re-dye it. My dad helps me re-dye my hair. He got, like, a toothbrush, like, an old toothbrush, and he's, like, scrubbing the poop out of my hair. And I was just, like... So, and I was doing one thing with my hand in a glove. Like, whenever I go to the hospital, because I go so much, I get, um, a glove. Like, Phoenix Children has these awesome purple gloves, and I get them for my hair. And I was just working carefully, you know, with my glove, blah, 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 blah. And then my dad, it's like, I'm done. I'm like, what? How did you do that? And it was just really fast. And I'm just like, whatever, you can do my whole hair next time, because... I'm obviously way too slow, and yeah, that's it for my life, I think. Nothing exciting's happening, except for Percy sleeping in the washroom, and my foot's asleep again. My foot always falls asleep. This is a problem. I'm gonna have to get it checked out. <laughs> I don't like my butt. 
Oh, again, if any of you guys have gotten a tube up your butt, please tell me because I need to know how it feels. I'm really scared. Yes. Okay. So, goodbye. And I wish you good things. And I send you good vibes and good thoughts and prayers and love. I'm going to start saying it like that. And I'm going to go. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to poke Percy until he wakes up. But that's all. Okay.